I'll do rogue. I'm gonna do druid much later. Cause it'll be quick. OP. Done. You know what? We probably don't have to do druid anymore. Yeah. Turns out four mana draw your four win condition is really good. Turns out Omega ramping to ten mana by turn four is really good too. Turns out a four mana Maligos is also really good. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. All right, rogue. Rogue, rogue, rogue. Cards I'm excited for. Pogo Hopper. I like Pogo Hopper. Big fan of Pogo Hopper. Big fan. The viability and strength of it is very debatable. It's probably not going to work out. But I love this card because you can actually build a deck around it. Like boing, 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 boing. You got a 1-1 one, one pogo. You got a 3-3 three, three pogo. You got a 5-5 five, five pogo. 7-7, seven, 9-9, seven, 11-11 nine, nine, eleven, eleven pogo. Has great synergy with a lot of inherent rogue cards like Shadow Step, Cheat Death, Vanish. I think you probably wouldn't run the Vanish. Actually, maybe you do run Vanish. It's Jade Rogue, but more Jadier. Sonya Shadow Song, the new Lab Recruiter card. I like Pogo Hopper. Um, I'll give it a high rating. Not for the strength, but for the flavor, the synergy, and the ability to build around it. It makes me really excited for a card like this. I love the design, I love the flavor, and I love the art. Because <laughs> it's like boing, boing, boing. Lab Recruiter, I think a card is really good too. Anything that delays fatigue and shuffle cards into your deck like this and vanilla status. I'm excited for a card like this is always relevant when you think about deck building with every expansion that release you think oh you know I can get multiple copies of this card for two mana like hey what if I you know do this do this do that so I like lab recruiter it's really nice again for the flavor and the design now these cards are good by themselves right a brand new card revealed today was Crazed Chemist. 5 mana 4-4, four, four, give a friendly minion plus 4 attack combo. Very straightforward. Very straightforward. Very basic too. The art is a bit... Weird. Like the art it seems like an art you would see on the cover of a romance novel. Doesn't fit the style. But anywho, this card. Um, five mana, four, four is severely understated. You want like five, six if you're going to play a five mana. The combo is a friendly minion gains four attack. I'm not against the four attack hack per se it's a cobalt on a stick mm, I would assume it's too bad it's pretty expensive the combo just makes it very awkward if it was a battle cry maybe we can talk but toast wouldn't the cobalt scaling be better Yes, but also no, because you don't get the Cobalt Scale Bane benefit right away. Like, there will exist a world where you can play Haha -ha into um, Trace Chemist, where you can't play Haha -ha into Cobalt Scale Bane. Uh, do, 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 do. Toast, care to tell me why you banned me for over a year? I made fun of you for playing Pirate Warrior and was banned. I don't know why people like your stream. You're a lonely virgin loser who's insecure and have self-loathing. Yeah, I can't imagine why I banned you. I 
Sorry, man, I can't explain why I banned you. You seem like a very pleasant fella. Mods, please uh, make sure not to ban that guy in the future. We want more people like him. Violet Haze. Yeah, I get a lot of messages like that because we're pretty uh, aggressive without bans, and it's always the same things like, "Why did you ban me? I'm a f***ing nice guy, you piece of." <laughs> like, oh, um, yeah, I don't know why I banned you. Uh, three mana, violet haze. Add two random death battle cards to your hand. Ooh, arcane intellect, but a random death rattle instead. No, I don't like it. You would just run good death rattles. The other problem is there's not even decent death rattle. In rogues. Nah, it's Dapu. It's Dapu. Death rattle rogue is already hard enough to pull off because the lack of good death rattles. Getting more bad death rattles isn't helpful and plus you're not even getting a bonus on it like the two mana mage card it gives you two random minions for two mana it's like okay i can see a reason for this i get below average cards but it's one mana cheaper i get that violet haze i don't really get if it said draw death rattle cards from your deck i would think that is significantly better those it says cards, not minions. Oh, right. So you can get Kingsbane, which is even worse. Like, I don't know, do I want a Kingsbane in a deck that has zero synergy with Kingsbane? Four mana, two, four death rattle, summon a one, one ooze with poison and rush. Now, initially, when I saw this card, I'm like, me. Meh. But then I saw this card. And now I'm all like, hmm, still meh, but less meh, but still meh. Okay, let's do this first, by nozzle. Hmm. <laughs> Unplayable and constructed. Blizzard, stop trying to make Death Rattle Rogue work. It's not gonna work. You're giving them all this Death Rattle synergy, and you know what? You didn't give them a Death Rattle card, a good Death Rattle card. They have so much ways to trigger Death Rattle. They got the Death Rattle spellstone. They got like things that get buffed up by Death Rattle. They can trigger Death Rattle so many times. But to do all that, they need a good Death Rattle card, Blizzard. You forgot the one thing. It's like cooking chicken tikka masala. You bought the tikka masala. You bought the garam masala. You bought the chili powder. You buffed the coconut. You bought the coconut milk. But you forgot to buy the chicken. You got everything but the chicken. Necrom Blade Death Rattle. Trigger the Death Rattle off a of random. I like it. Fire War Axe with the minor upside. Actually, not even minor. With an okay my upside. Decent. Good upside. We all know that 3 mana 3 2 weapons are playable. Eagle Horn Bow is playable. Rallying Blade back in the day was playable, provided they have a nice little upside. Shadow Blade is another example, but uh, people don't play Shadow Blade because it's essentially only mattering to your health, which doesn't affect the board. It's a great card. I think a card like this has good stat line, 3 mana, 3 to weapon, good. And the effect is nice too. Works on cube. Anything that can trigger cube right away is insane. Play Dead and Dark Pack. The two decks that are known for playing cubes, the three decks, if you count Druid with Naturalize, that runs cube right now, 
all have a very cheap way to activate it. And this fits the bill. Carnivorous Cube is one of the best cards in rotation right now. Like, bar none. Some people will say Carnivorous Cube is unhealthy for the game, and it could be right. Summoning giant ass minions for cheap through cube, pretty OP. And this plays right into it. And it doesn't even pop the cube, like Dark Pack. I'm rating this pretty high because Carnivorous Cube exists. If Carnivorous Cube doesn't exist, maybe I'll put it here because I think the ability is nice too. But because Carnivorous Cube is a thing, I'll put it here. You can never count out the cube. Crazed Chemist, like if Egg Rogue with Death Rattle is a thing, I can see Crazed Chemist being pretty good. We'll see. Oh, right. I completely forgot one thing about Necrim Blade. Kobo Illusionist and uh, Malagos Combo. My OTK Rogue. This is another way to get an extra copy of uh, Kobo Illusionist on the board. So you play Spursing Umber, you play Necrim Blade. And then, no, sorry, you play Spursing Umbra, you play Cobalt Illusionist, then you trigger your Necrum Blade, which gets you another Cobalt Illusionist, which then will get you another Malagos. So this is a potential extra Malagos. Yeah, sorry, forgot to mention that. Tell us this trigger Mecha Cartoon. All right. Anyone who thinks there's any synergy with Necrom Blade with Mecha Cthulhu. Line up on the left side of the room against the wall. I want to round all these people up. Where are you guys? Which one is you like? <laughs> uh, Necrom Blade will never work with Mecha Cthulhu because. Your Mecha Cthulhu's alive. And it won't work. Real talk, the first time I saw this card and Mecha Cthulhu, I thought about it. I'm like, oh wow, I can set up that combo. I did think for five seconds. That combo could work for five seconds. And then I remember Mecha Cthulhu's wording. All right, let's be honest. We all thought it. However briefly, we thought Necron Blade and Mecha Cthulhu would be sick. Oh. Academic Espionage. I like this card. Shuffle 10 cards from your opponent's deck into your deck. They cost one. Uh, fatigue Delayer. Fun randomness. Because you're playing your opponent's deck and you don't know what they have. Cheap Tempo. Synergy with Myra. I like it. Very low tempo. Reminds me of um, the original Ambush. What was the original Ambush? It's been so long. Oh yeah, beneath the grounds. Where it's potential upside, assuming you draw the right cards or your opponent draws the right card. Wait, shuffle 10 cards from your opponent's class. Oh! Okay, same thing, same thing. Even more RNG, even more fun. <laughs> huh. That actually makes it better for me. Because the card quality you get should be a little worse. But the random fun aspect makes it a lot better. 
tells RNG does not equal fun. Well, tell that to uh, Blizzard and Hearthstone for the last five years because they would say otherwise. Tell that to the crowd at the last year's BlizzCon because when they played Yogg, everyone's like, oh my god. But when they make a good opener play with the coin to combo, you know, cold blood with the right minion to play around certain removals, the crowd's like, Oh my god, Ragnaros hit that random target and then it's a head. Ah! I was at the last two BlizzCon crowd for Hearthstone. I mean, it's okay. Hearthstone's just an inherently RNG fun game whose skill expression is a little less, but still. When you think about what's fun to watch, RNG is 100% fun to watch. Mm, but yeah, I like academic espionage. Tell us you can't clickbait this card. You are correct. I got the 10 perfect card from academic espionage. These cards saved my life. Very YouTube clickbait. Uh, Necrim, 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 how do you pronounce this? Nec, Necrium, Necrium, file. Trigger a friendly minion's death rattle twice. It's like play dead, but cost five times more. But does the ability twice? Combo with, with a prep Necrim Vile Koba Illusionist. Summon two copies of Malagos for six mana. Backstab it. Wait a second, is this a good idea? Think about it. You just have Malagos and Koba Illusionist in hand. You play Koba Illusionist. You prep the Vile. Guess what? Two Malagos is on the board for only six mana. You gotta backstab. You backstab that. Three Malagos is on the board. You got three Malagos. And you got four mana left. One Sinister Strike. Two Sinister Strike. And they're already dead. That's 36 damage. Mmm. It's not that much combo pieces now that I think about it. It's really not. Rogue has vanishes. Rogue has um, evasion. Rogues have sap. Rogues have Valera. This is really good in Kobo Illusionist OTK deck. I think, I genuinely think, Kobo Illusionist OTK is much, much more viable. With Necarim Blade and Necarim Vile. You guys think I'm memeing. Because no other people play OTK Malagos Rogue. But. This fits into it perfectly. You won't even have to run Umbra anymore. You just have to keep one prep. And one vial. You can run much less minions. Hmm. You only need two direct damage spells. So if you have a Lyra, you just need one direct damage spell. Okay, Malagos, Koba Illusionist, Prep, and Necrim. That's only four four cards. And one direct damage spell. That's only five cards. That's not a lot of cards. A five card OTK combo? With the blade, you can get an extra Malagos. But you don't need an extra Malagos. You just need two spells. To eviscerate, one eviscerate, one sinister strike. Just a razor petal volley by itself is enough at that point. Because you have two mana to play the spell and then two mana to throw two petals. Hmm. 
You need the extra melee. Yeah, if against druid or warrior. Druid and warrior can gain a lot of armor, that's true. But if you're playing against those kind of decks, you'll have time to get extra spells or extra maligos as well. I think it's good. I think OTK Rogue with Necrom Vile pushes it into playability. I'm a big believer. I'm putting this high because I believe OTK Rogue would be good. My biggest concern is aggro decks, specifically Zoo Warlock, because Zoo Warlocks look like it's gearing up for war as well. Toast, don't you need spell damage for backstab? No, because if you Necrom Vile first, you get two Malagosis on the board already, and both of them juice up your backstab. So your backstab would deal Pyroblast worth of damage already. It's the same concept behind uh, Spirit Singer, Umbra, and Koba Illusionist, is that you bring out a Malagos to juice up your backstab. Tell us what if Necrom Vile hits your Valera Covolutionist? I mean, that's not going to happen because you're going to prep out Necrom Vile. Ne Necrom Vile will be the last card you play when you play Necrom Vile with Valera. Malagos meta. I'm okay with that. As someone who plays OTK decks professionally and personally, any OTK meta I love. Myra's unstable element. Hmm. Academic espionage enables more pogoing to make sure you only drop pogo hopper off lab recruiter. Uh, Mechathune synergy, of course. Pretty much meant for Mechathune, huh? Mm. It's so hard to think of a deck that can use Myra's unstable element to max potential. Felderite Strider. Dorian combo. Oh yeah, the Dorian combo would be fun. Mm. Tog Waggle. <laughs> You could prep this out, yes. So what you do is what? <laughs> you play Togwaggle and then you play prep Myra's Unstable Element. <laughs> okay. So now your opponent has an empty deck that he won't swap. But what would you have? You can play Academic Espionage. And then you can play Lab Recruiter. Maybe... But how do you survive until that point? Because decks where it's based around swapping decks and destroying the deck, you have to give them a bad deck. But then he'll just swap after. He's like, okay, I'm not going to swap now. Oh, you shuffle good cards into the deck? Well, now I'm just going to swap. So no, that wouldn't really work. Yeah, that wouldn't really work. <laughs> so just wait until you shuffle cards and the, okay, now I can swap. Feels bad. Kingsbane. 
Kingsbane. No, Kingsbane's not good either. Your opponent's gonna take your Kingsbane and beat you to hell with it. Yeah, I can't really think about a great use of it. Our our rogue. There's no way to guarantee that you mill the ransom card because you don't run naturalize, nor do you have color oracles anymore. Myra Hot Spring. Five mana four five discover sorry, five mana four two discover death rattle minion also gain its death rattle. That's good value. One of the best cards you can hit is um Karen Bloodhoof. Five mana four two, summon a four five. It's expensive. Like I said earlier, there's no great death rattle. It's a solid standalone card. Refills your hand, gains a death rattle. But um inconsistent. So it can hit the mechanical well. Yeah, it could. It could. You know what could also hit? It can hold Bone Baron and Blight Nozzle. You have to remember, because of the way Discover works, you have a 400% increased chance of discovering a Rogue Death Rattle compared to a Neutral Death Rattle. And there's way more Neutral Death Rattles out there. It could potentially hit something good, like Mechanical Well. But more likely, it's going to hit one of your Death Rattle Rogue options. It might even hit Goblin Bomb. It's inconsistent. So, Rogue. It's got, Rogue's got a lot of fun tool. Pogo Hopper, fun tool. Lab Recruiter, Academic Espionage, Myra. Great, 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 funny, you know, exciting cards that we can build around. Love it. Necrom Vial and Necrom Blade. Cube Synergy, Kobo Illusionist, OTK Synergy, which makes me very happy. I'm rating them higher because of the OTK potential. So, um, I like I like all the cards Rogue got. I think they're in a great spot. They got meme cards, they got OTK cards, they got Death Rattle cards. I like, I like Rogue. Excited for Rogue. So, overall impression on Rogue? Good. Good job, Blizzard. I like where you're going with Rogue. Hey, lights out.